Alright, let's from retired to Limb of the Dream. And today we're in Pattaya again. And we're on the ground floor or the basement of the Central Festival where you can get lots and lots of different food to eat from here. So we'll just have a little one wander about and you can see what you can get. It's marvellous here. The food selection is very very good. So yeah we we visit Pat here again, we're going to meet some friends here. So I'll show you a little bit around. Big pizzas, barbecue pork rigs, 120 for 100 grams. Honey roasted ham, the smells are really really good. So it's very busy, uh, we here on a Saturday, Saturday afternoon, my wife's gone for a a massage, I fancy an Indian curry, so I come to have a look to see if there's any Indian food here. There are lots of Indian restaurants open. Fresh lobsters, clams, it's just incredible. So as we walk through, as you can see, very busy. Lots of foreigners here. Roast noodles barbecue noodles 100 by 140 as you can see very very cheap not expensive at all living in thailand living in patia patia is probably one of the best places i've been to for the amount of variety of food that you can eat here if the indians are eating here it must be okay so, 32 baht, 33 baht, 169, 169 baht. As you say, it just goes on. Uh, lentil soup, spaghetti bolognese, 190. Pizzas. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Have you ever been to this place in, in Padia and the basement of Central Festival? It's just good. We've been here a few times before. And as I say, it's just got loads of choice. So we've gone sort of out of the food cart now. And we're just walking towards Beach Road entrance. And this little Snacks. Snacks and stuff like that. Oh, I can smell the durian. Not my particular favourite, but you can smell it everywhere. Hotels and buses and places like that ban to have durian in the bus or in the hotel because the smell just lingers on forever. Walking along Patia Beach Road. Haven't uh, Take your life in your own hands. <laughs> Walked across to the beach now. Now this is in rainy season. And it looks a little bit ominous over there. Looks like a few dark clouds. But look, in rainy season, I'm just surprised as how many people there they are. This is a Saturday afternoon. Normally we don't come to Patty on the weekend because it's usually much busier. <clears throat> but this weekend I had a little bit of things to sort out in in Patty with a couple of friends and we met a couple of subscribers and we're going out didn't just for a few beers tonight and uh, maybe it's a few beers tomorrow night as well <clears throat> now Patty is good for nighttime entertainment as you see you've just seen the food court any food that you want it's, it's available so my wife's had a a foot massage for an hour now. I found the Indian restaurant that I want in the food court, so now I'm gonna go pick my wife up and we're gonna have a bit of Indian food. But yeah, oh, look at them clouds. I think it's certainly gonna rain within the next hour or so. So now the last time we were in, in Patia, we had a walk along the seafront and all these bars were getting all renovated. 
they're digging up the, the pathway again for whatever reason they're doing. It just seems like every six months or so they'll dig up the the pathway. But look at this. All new. Looks brand new now. Nice seating. We'll be here in the next hour or so. Watching the world go by. So Patia on the weekend. This is it, we've not been on the weekend for a long time. Because it's usually much busier. But I'm gonna cross the road again. As you can see. It's a bit like that Frogger game where you just walk across the road. <laughs> I survived, I got to the other side. I'm just going past Soy 8. We'll be down there later on tonight at the Sailor Bar, having some food in there. But now I'm going to walk back to our hotel, which is on Soy 7, in the Flipper, Flipper House. It's such great value there. I keep on looking, but at the end of the day, uh, we always keep coming back this one because the rooms are very comfortable. The buffet breakfast served until 11 o'clock in the morning. So we get up and uh, we sort of have brunch. And uh, it's, it's always a good menu. It really is good. So now just walking along the seafront. Ready to go down Soy 7. But it's just busy. Here's another little, nice little bar on the corner of Soy 7. Usually quite busy coming down here. But again, it's just down our road. We, we like Soy 7 because at the end of the day, it's local to everywhere. You can walk around everywhere. You can either go into the town, tree town, or you can come down here at the seafront. There's bands, entertainment, on all, anything you want. That's the beauty of Patia. Anything and everything happens here in Patia. So, no, no thank you. Just getting to my hotel now and it's just starting to rain. So I think we're going to have a bit of a thunderstorm. Oh, there's the thunder in the background. So again, I can't recommend this hotel enough. The Flipper House Hotel. The breakfast is superb, the location is good because we're down size 7. So the Flipper House, back there. Okay, just got back just before it rains. A bit of a shower and shave and back out. Back to the town centre.